When it came time to learn the ropes of being a cowgirl, I knew there was only one place to go. Rodeo Houston. The Super Bowl of all things wrangling. Not a rookie. Roping. Yes. And of course, riding. Stud machine. Every year, the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo kicks off with an Old West-style trail ride through the Lone Star State's largest city, where for a full month, the rodeo turns the gridiron home of the Houston Texans into, well, a barnyard. Hey, Nikki. Once I got back to my old home on the range, I enlisted trick rider and stunt woman extraordinaire Nikki Flundra to help me cowgirl up without winding up on Joan Rivers' bad side. Yeah, this could work. That's perfect. No cowgirl is complete without a great hat. Okay, snug, it fits. Looks awesome. I'm ready to go. Yes. All you need now is your horse. That's right. Well, there is one more thing. Any cowgirl worth her salt lick has to be ready to take care of her horse in every way. And I mean every way. When I thought changing a diaper was bad, <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> now I'm ready to learn the basics. The crowd always likes it when you either stand up on your horse or drag by their feet. So can we make it so that you can have me stand on a horse but not be dragged Absolutely, by its feet? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> My trusty steed for barrel oh, racing. Good job. The beautiful, if aptly named, Twister. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're good with me. You're fine with me, Twister. Good. For the dangerous stuff, whoa. Nikki loaned me her best horse, Rebel. All the way, Rebel. Oh, Rebel, thank Okay, come on. Every night, the arena fills with tens of thousands of fans of not just the heroes of rodeo and country music, but musicians of all kinds, from Justin Bieber and Kiss to even Bruno Mars, who shattered the rodeo's attendance record only to be beat out by hip-hop megastar Pitbull days later. I hit the jackpot. For me, the empty stands and wide open floor held a magical quality, bringing back memories of an annual tradition I lived for as a young girl. I never thought I'd be doing this in a million years. Right here on the dirt, I got my chance to show off with Rebel. You got it, sister. Yay! Yeah, I'm the queen of the world! Next up, learning my way around a lasso. A little bit higher. There you go. After a few practice throws, Almost. I nailed it. Got him! Time for my cowgirl final exam. Taking on breakout barrel racing champion Sydney Blanchard. Sydney went first. A few pointers later, it's my turn. <laughs> Clearly, Sydney wiped the floor with me and Twister. Yeehaw! But still, I had a blast and earned the cowgirl seal of approval from Nikki and Sydney. I think you're officially a cowgirl, so here's your cowgirl rodeo number for Houston. Thank you. Oh, I think so, they slowed the camera down wow. there. I was going much faster on that, of course. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was slow we motion. Saw, we saw these great teases of these people like doing all these amazing moves and <laughs> bucking. And I was expecting, wow, they're going to really teach her how to do that. And then by the end, it's like, well, here's a lasso. And <laughs> not, I, I not suggesting hard, I could though. do it. But I didn't want to embarrass them. Yeah. You know, yes. with my oh, right, right. We showed them you just, just the baby stuff that right. I did. Yeah. Got but, it! But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a real cow. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to thank everyone in Houston who helped arrange my trip from Nikki and Sydney to everyone at the Rodeo organization. The Rodeo has contributed more than $300 million to charity and scholarship wow. research. 70,000 people helped volunteer to pull off the show. So thank you for having me, and I hope I didn't embarrass Texans too much. <laughs> Whole new respect for you, Bianca. Whole new respect. Yeah. <laughs>